Hi everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to learn how to make another cool thing with the ESP8266. And, <clears throat> again, I've made a video for the LED control, which is very cool. And I'm glad, I'm glad it a lot, had a lot of views and a lot of people liked it. So I decided to make another video. Now, on the ESP8266. Now, this is based off of a project that I saw in Nuts and Volts. And, well, it basically is the project, but <clears throat> it's based off of a project from Nuts and Volts called ESP8266 Newsreader. Now, I was very fascinated by this project because, again, I haven't, I've never used for this ESP for any kind of, like, from retrieving stuff from the web. So I decided to make a video. So I decided to make a video on a project that was very, that really interested me. Now this thing works by basically plugging in a power source, which I have right here. And when you plug it in and turn on the power, It says ESP8266 RSS News Reader. And right now it's connecting to the Wi-Fi. And then what, when it shows the Wi-Fi logo, that means it's connecting to Wi-Fi. But now it's not anymore. So, because it's already showing some headlines. It's basically showing RSS data from headlines. So I press. This is to change the feed. But currently it's showing the entire feed until you reach the other next feed. And this is this this was made using a TFT LCD from Adafruit, a Node MCU, which we have used from the ESP8266 Wi-Fi LED control, and a few wires and a push button. So let's get started with making the project. Alright, so these are the materials you need for the project. Of course, a bunch of wires, and we're going to need a push button, a breadboard, an Adafruit 1.8 TFT LCD with a micro SD breakout, which you can purchase from the link that I posted in the description below, and the ESP8266, Node MCU Amica, and of course a breadboard as well, which I think I mentioned already. So, let's get started by taking this breadboard and we'll stick the Node MCU onto the breadboard. There we go. And make sure not to use the ESP012 0.9 Node MCU because that will be too big for the breadboard and you can't really wire anything up to that. And then, you're going to want to take the TFT LCD, right, and you're gonna plug it in to somewhere around there. And then you're gonna take, you're gonna take the wires, a wire, plug it into the 3v3 of the Node MCU, right there. And then that that cable will go to the VCC of the touchscreen or the LCD. Sorry, my bad. That pin is right here, so it's basically second to the right. So that pin that I have right there. Then you're gonna take another cable, plug it into ground. And that will go to the rightmost pin, which is GND on the TFT. Once you've got this wired up, you can start plugging in the power source and you can see that the TFT LCD, let's see, let me power on my power source. So the TFT LCD doesn't light up yet because of the current code I have inst installed on there. 
So, actually, we're gonna, oh, my bad. So, once you, I'm gonna turn off this, right? And then, replug in the cable that I just unplugged and we're good to go. Now the next few cables are for the data of the LCD. So the first one we'll wire up goes to D3. So we tap D3 right there. I believe that is D3. It will go to the first pin of the LCD. So about right there. Right? And then the second pin of the LCD is not wired to anything. The third L pin of the LCD is wired to D5. So that's D5. And that is, you have to skip a pin on the LCD and just plug it in. I believe this cable is having difficulties. Wire is having difficulties. Okay, all right, we've got that. Then the pin next to it is two pins, well, a pin, you skip a pin on the node MCU and then you link it up to the next one on the LCD right next to the green. Then you have to take the next pin of the LCD and that will go to the next pin of the node MCU. Don't worry, we have a few pins to go, so keep it up. And then, you're going to skip a pin to get to this one, and this one goes to the next pin down. Actually, no. Sorry, that pin goes to... The one right here, D4. So we've got that. All right, we've already wired up the LCD. So if we just actually plug in, I believe, let's just check the wirings first. So the, the first pin, of course, goes to D3. Second pin goes to D5. Yep, and then third pin goes to third pin, let's see, third pin right there goes to D7, and that's correct. Then the fourth pin goes to D8, and that's correct, and D5, well D5 is linked up, we already D5 is second pin, and then we keep on going down the line, let's see, yep, so I believe we have the correct wirings, and since we already have the current code on here, I'm just going to plug this in, and turn on the power source, and it gives us our thing, I, I had that code on there, so didn't erase it. But now we've, we can add the push button. So I'm going to disconnect that. And then we're just going to put that push button right around there. Right? And then one side, I believe this might be too long, but I'll go for it. It goes to D2 or D1. The next side goes to... The GND of the TFT doesn't matter which GND it is, but as long as it's a ground, it works. Okay, now we've wired everything up, I'll show you the code. 
So let's get to that. All right. So here, once we finished that, the board, we can move on to the code. This code is based off of the RSS Reader tutorial by Craig A. Lindley. I'd like to thank him. It is the code. So here you're going to put your, the only thing you have to fill out is your SSID and your Wi-Fi password. The rest, you don't even have to worry about it. So if we go to here, we can see this is these are just a few things to help manage with the LCD. This is for the reader, which is actually the real code that's functioning. This actually doesn't do too much. And then the dot H, this stuff, and then yeah. But this thing is that one that's actually doing everything. So we should be saying this one does everything. You can see that whenever you change the feed, it's going to change the index of the feed. So let's go ahead. You can. I'm going to post this code in the description below. And of course, you can experiment out with, that, with it. Um, you can read the actual nuts and bolts article that I got it from, got this tutorial from, and so on. So let's go ahead and I will upload the code. All right, so here we've got the finished board with the code uploaded on there. Let's plug it in with the power source, right? And plug it in. Turn on the power source. There we go. And it's connecting to Wi-Fi. Now, now it's showing the news, so I'm gonna that button and change the new feed so basically now this project is a thing and where the description in the description of the nuts and bolts article Greg Lind Lindley he said uh, I'm a bit of a news addict something like that and he said you can if you see the news on here like the little subtitle then you then you'd probably be tempted to go on your computer and search it up on the web so anyway guys, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit subscribe and like, and I will make more videos like this in the future because ESP is full of awesome stuff. And in fact, the ESP32 has come out like a few months ago. And that thing not only has Wi-Fi, it has Bluetooth as well. So you might want to take a look at that. But for now, bye.